No, come in. No one cares that you're eating. What's going on, beautiful people? We're picking up where we last left off. The evolution of the racking system behind us. Today we're adding fish, well, water first. Yeah, let's do water first. Let's see if we get to that point first. <laughs> That's a lot of water, actually. That's going to take a while to fill up. Yeah, we've got a tap. Yeah, I know. Actually, still. temperature. No, I'll get the temperature right. Before that, though, we want to add some LEDs all in the back. Now, there's these little sticky pads. They're probably going to come unstuck, get caught up with water on them and stuff like that. So we've come up with a... So maybe we've come up with a solution. We don't know if it's going to work. Yeah, I wouldn't yet call it a solution yeah, until it works. Wait till it works. So here are the strips. Like, this is the LED strip. We've got, like, two rungs. Is it a rung? Two yeah. reels of it. Um, it's not on, obviously. And then we found these in Homebase, which is a DOI store. So we're thinking we can stick two rows of LED, flip it like that, put it on right at the back of the tanks. Not there, but, yeah, but, but at the at back. Because like like <laughs> as you can see there, there's quite a bit of a gap behind the tanks. Now, technically speaking, we could have just turned these tanks sideways and had more along the top, but it just wouldn't look as good. We, we want to have that sort of wider view in the front, don't we? I think, yeah, I think that'd be better. So that's given us the space at the back. So mm -hmm. we're going to give this a go. Hopefully it works. We can paint the back strip that will be viewing us black so you won't even see it. And uh, hopefully get some pretty lights behind some it. Some cool up lights. It, it might work, it might not. It might not even see it. I can, I can already feel it. It, it. It's just gonna blend in with the background or something. That's a lot of LEDs. It'll yeah, show exactly, up. It'll we're show doubling up. up. We've got 15 meters of LEDs for six meters of, no, we've got 30 meters of LEDs. No. Yeah, each, each reel. Each reel is 15 meters and we've got Four reels. For real, man. Isn't it? For real. So we've got 60 meters. We've got 60 meters. We've got 30 on each one. Crikey. All right. It's going to really brighten it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or they're really, really poor. They mm. were quite cheap. Yeah. No, that'd be all right. I need to work out the total cost at some point because everyone's going to want to know how much you spent, but it's way more than I originally anticipated. But that's only because we're doing these extra details. Yeah, that's it. And, you know, and at least with this way, we've actually built it. We'd still be building the woodwork now. Oh, and it would have probably fallen down four times, been yeah. wrong, more wood because we got it wrong. So <laughs> the people would have enjoyed it though. That's we built true. it again. <laughs> Round four. Oh, let's try we again. Saying, we were saying, weren't we, if we made it out of wood, it would be like, remember that episode of The Simpsons, Homer's Spice Rack? <laughs> What? Oh yes, that he makes a marge or yeah, something. Yeah, I'll he... put a clip up. Very good. Ooh. <gasps> There's nails and stuff hanging yeah, out of it. That's what our like rack would have looked that's like. That's what our fish tank stands would look like. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> and then down the bottom, hey, these, down the bottom, they're going to be like plant storage. So they only have an inch of water in no filtration because I like to put the pots in and just leave them to grow in there. And then for that, we've got this uh, sort of flexy board thing that's rigid, so not flexy, but um, can be cut easily as lids and it can also be nice and easily removed as well. Now, a lot of people ask me why I don't just fill them up with water and submerge all my plants. Well, then that's six more tanks that you have to take care of, isn't it? Yep. With filtration, algae, water changes. This way, you just put the little bit in the bottom and they just continue to grow. Yeah. And most plants don't melt. I no. mean, Crips will, some Val will, some certain species, yeah. but other ones, they just continue to grow underwater. They look a bit different. Yes. But by the time you've just given them a snip and replanted, you know, yeah, it's all fine. good, isn't it? Yeah. I would much rather that and have them growing even better in these tanks than submerge them having six more big tanks to worry about. Yeah, so that's can, why I do it. Yeah, we can always do one full of water if we do get things like Valis or something like that. Yeah, yeah, can, that's right, you know. yeah. Or we can even just put them in the... Yeah, put them in these tanks. Yeah. Too. yeah. Okay, let's crack on. Hopefully this works. Hopefully when we fill it up, the whole thing doesn't collapse. I can't see it collapse. And if you haven't seen the actual construction, I recommend you go back through the last few videos. But we've got four... Look, count them four rungs of this wood turned upright for extra rigidity. And then we've got a thick piece of MDF that, that is actually screwed to all of them, making them all one solid thing. Yeah, I can't see it's going to go anywhere. No. It's <laughs> where the breeze blocks turn to dust. Oh, that surely. I don't I think, think we're fine. I think yeah. we're fine. It'll be fine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm actually quite nervous about filling them up. I don't know why, because we've over-engineered technically. Yeah, I think, no, it's, it's fine. We've, what we've done here is way more than what most people would do. So. Yeah. so Matt's got the new plug. We were using just standard extension leady plug thingies. Yeah. That's what they're called, aren't they? That's, the, that's exactly the, what they're called. Yeah, that's the uh, scientific name for them. <laughs> yeah. There was six on the ones that were on there originally, non-surge protected, not up to the, to the job really. So I've got these expensive ones, but I think it's a good investment. They're solid. Do the switch thing again. Oh yes, and there's seven, which is perfect 
because we've got two of them. Yeah. But there's six lights on each side, plus the LED strips, that's seven sockets we need. All can be on one timer or smart plug. Yeah. Perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Just, ideal and then, and then we could hang them in that middle section behind the but uh, behind the, it yeah that'll be perfect two of it? them one each side <coughs> is that going in no probably <laughs> yeah i think that'd be perfect animals. animals i should just let you know kate's not here so i'm allowed to be <laughs> disgusting because <laughs> we are but men and we are filthy <laughs> Come, you do it way more than me no. Because you're just constantly drinking Monster. No, I don't believe you. I don't <laughs> believe you at all. I think... literally was in this, the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't get that on camera. <laughs> Apparently in Germany, it's like a sign of enjoyment at a mealtime. <laughs> that could be an English urban myth though. Any Germans watching, is it yeah, is polite it... to burp at the table? Let us know in the comments, Germans. Is there anywhere we can go on holiday? <laughs> But it's socially acceptable. Well, we're going to um, Netherlands in a few days. Yeah. Can we do it there? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. No. <laughs> anyway, yes, and these are painted. Well, they don't look it like that, but look, the back edge is all painted. So you're not going to see that behind the tanks. And the LED strip is hidden, so you only get the sort of uplighting. The glow. The glow, rather than the actual pins, uh, LED yeah. bits. Bulbs. Are they bulbs? Mm. Diode. LED. Yeah, that's it. Diodes. Is it? Huh. Yes. It's not a bulb. Sounds good. It's a reaction. Is it a reaction? We don't know. We, we don't. We do no. fish tanks. We no. don't. We don't know how they work. They just work. Not only do we not know, we don't care. No. And neither does anyone else. No, they do. There'll be someone in the comments that cares. Yes. What There'll is an LED? An LED light technician. What is a diode? We could just Google it, but where's the fun? I think LED stands for light emitting, emitting diode. diode. That still doesn't tell us what the hell it is. It's magic. That's yes. what it is. Yes. Colourful <laughs> magic. So how's it going? Uh, yeah. Oh, you've gone for f yes, yeah. So I've just, just explained all the strip. <laughs> I've, I've just unravelled it, and I'm going for all of it. I'm going to stick it on there somehow. You won't see it by the time I'm finished. All the LEDs. Because Matt just tried it with just the, what we planned, and it didn't really like the back very much. It did. It was it was subtle. It gave it a uh, accent. I think is the word that you were using. But we want more than an accent. Yeah, we, we want, want a real strong blow accent. Blow your head off. <laughs> And just so you know, I'm not just sat here doing nothing. I'm currently getting on with a build, which you would have, which would have come out before all of this. So I'm just doing a build for our tank that's in our, well, it's curtained off so we, you can actually see it. But uh, in our seating area, I'm doing a build for here. So we're both working at the same time, fully utilizing the manpower. More like child power with us, isn't it? Just, it's just a laugh. It is a little bit. I've got so many more LEDs. Brilliant. <laughs> I can't wait till it all starts glowing. I'm gonna find somewhere else to put them. Okay. Right, the first strip is done, right, Matt? Yep. And can you switch it on for oh, us? Hang on, is my mic on? Yeah, my mic's on. Crikey. Can you switch it on for us? Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. So that's look on, at that. That's yeah, that's on a purple. It's a purple. There's and a green. green. Oh, we could do like one side green, one side purple. Like yeah. the collaboration. Oh, I like it. It's like only it. subtle, but I still like it. And didn't you say there was another feature? Uh, there is. Um, <laughs> a pretty pointless one. There's this feature, which is every time you talk, it flashes. So it's sort of for the music part. <laughs> la, la, can I do it from back here? Hello. Oh my goodness. It picks it up from all the way back here. Hang on, let me go right to the back. It can... <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. This will. <laughs> It's making me laugh as I'm doing it. That looks great, doesn't it? You could set that up in a house like quite nicely for like a disco room. Oh, there's you? a there's a nicer one that that's a bit gentler. Yeah, because it's not, it changes on the notes on the tones. I'm not sure how great that is for a fish room. Or I do we just go for it? Yeah, maybe. I think I think just like one solid colour. Mm, that's cool. Is probably the it best, won't be as it? pronounced as that because the lights are off. But yes. just a subtle little accent. Yeah. Cool. Looks nicer than the white, doesn't it? Yeah, why, why not? Why not? There's a lot of effort and it's added about <laughs> 200 quid to the build. And about four days, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's the little things, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's little, the little things. Little touches. It is now the next day. We have had fantastic progress. I say we, Matt did all of this because I've been working on another project. Uh, but look at that, looks awesome. I'm pleased with how that's turned out, are you? Yeah, it's looking really good. Because originally we just had the rungs of lights on the bottom and then Matt had spare left over so he just brought it up the top stuck it to the back of this wood 
So it's up light in the top as well. It's, it's subtle, um, but I think, oh, we've gone green as well. Yeah, see? We can do whatever we want, eh? Looks good, doesn't it? Blue, flash That's white, white, rubbish. Is there flash? Oh, there's so many. Oh, the, like... kids, the kids loved it yesterday. They came they in, did. didn't they? <laughs> they like loving it. I think Henry broke one at one point because we couldn't get it to change, but uh, yeah. Look at that, see? I quite like it. No, that's just too that's much. too much, is it? It's way too much. Okay. We're not getting any scale. Can you get in? What, in a tank? No. no. I'm not <laughs> in, a contortionist. In the, in the shop. It's massive, isn't it's it? It's good, isn't it? Yeah. So the next stage is getting the air pump fitted at the top and all the airline. Now, we've got a really, really good air pump. Apparently, it's like the dog's the mutt's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, so let's have a look at that. So I've been told by Maritz, who uh, works at Aquadistry, who are like the suppliers for these things, uh, that this is like the best. So quiet, you won't believe it's running. Well, we'll put that to the test. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, especially in here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just, we're not going to hear, hear each other. No, no they, they are quiet, to be fair. They are really good pumps. They're really good pumps. The problem you're going to have is you've got, what, eight? No, how many, how many air-driven air pump filters? That's going to be the noise. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, the pump will be silent. It will be the blah, 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 blah. So it might need lids on all tanks? I think so, maybe. We'll have to have a look. If that's we what we need, out. that's what we can do. Yeah, we'll do something It'll too. help on constant evaporation for you as well, topping them up. Yeah. So definitely. yeah, that might be a good shout. Let's get it out. And Matt, that's not a knife. That's not a knife. But it worked. <laughs> oh. That's not a knife. <laughs> this know. is a knife. What's that from? I don't is that know. Crocodile Dundee? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> that's not Sounds like something from Crocodile Dundee. It does. Oh. That so far, I'm getting BB-8 vibes. Oh. <laughs> Need some stickers. Imagine if it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> it is BB-8. <laughs> <laughs> that is so oh, cool. Oh, I want to put stickers on it. Let's do it. Let's find some okay, stickers. Okay, that's the pipe for that. Yep, so that'll be 1622, so we can join that, and then we can get our little dia... Uh, no, what is it? The splitter. Off yeah, of hang here. on. Hang on. So here is said splitter, but yeah. that pipe's quite small, but we oh, can put a pipe. a smaller pipe. Within yeah, a pipe? We can, yeah. We'll, we'll work something out. And then that tapey wrap thing, you know, that plumbers use. You can get the ones that fit onto this, so you can get like a thicker diaphragm pipe. I don't know if I've got one. I might have one, I'll have a look. Diaphragm? Not diaphragm, this is a diaphragm That's... pump. Oh, I'm so confused, I'm just thinking of babies and stuff. <laughs> I thought you were still in newborn baby no. mode. No, no, this is a diaphragm pump, so it's the way the pump works and pushes okay. air out, yeah. Oh. Um, I'm but... guessing you were looking for diameter. That's work. what I was looking for. <laughs> it's early in the morning. It, bag, it began it with is. a We D. started early today, didn't we? Well, vaguely, yeah. yeah. Well, it's 8 o'clock, but we've all got daddy duties before we get here, so 8 o'clock means like a 5.36 start. <laughs> yes, that's pretty much right. Yeah, <laughs> which yeah. is still late for what I used to do, which was 4 a.m. <sighs> but, you know, having you here now means I don't have to be yeah, you ridiculous. You've got the professional here now, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> that's the rubber bit that goes oh. on there, look. So we might be able to work something out. Yeah, I think we can. Like a... Joiner. Yeah. Some form of, yeah, poking about, it'll work. So Matt has hooked up BB-8, also known as the Fuji Mac. There we go. And you've just run some splitters off of it, haven't you? Yep, we run there's that. a tap. Yeah, you can there's see a that tap silver unit. tap that's got like six opening, closing valves on it. And then they can spur off left and right. And then it's literally, so you can see here, one of them's hanging down. Now we're waiting for some T-pieces to come because we can do like a T-piece there that goes there. T-piece there, T-piece on that side, and then even more T-pieces that come down to the bottom. And because it's clear, you're not really going to see them in the background. Uh, you will see them sort of coming in the tanks, but you know, it's a, it's a fish rack. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a working fish room. So therefore, you're going to see some stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. So we can't carry on until those parts come, which will be today, yeah. ready to fit tomorrow. But what we can do is get the tanks sort of with their, with their decorative sand at the bottom. Yeah and fill them up, put some planting in. Get some water, yeah, the water's gonna be the main thing. That's gonna take the time, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then we can um, also fit the sponge filters in there ready just for the airlines oh, to yeah. go in. Yeah, I don't know where they've gone. I've put them somewhere. We'll get all those out in a minute. It's like, there's quite a few of them. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, did we get enough? Yeah, there should be enough. I think so, I did just count them and it looks like there's like 20 in there. So I think- And we've got 18 to... tanks that yeah. need them. So all good. Okay, let's, uh, let's do, do that. Start filling. Oh, sand first? Oh yeah, sand. Okay, what do we want to do? All the same colour? 
I think we'll see what we've got. At the moment, obviously, we can adapt it as it goes. So if we want shrimp in one, we can obviously change it out for a shrimp substrate. Like a mano base works, I've always found works yeah. well with shrimp. So we could do the mano base if we've got enough in the shrimp system. Maybe? If we've got enough plenty, I've got a whole bag. And we oh, only yeah. want a thin layer, don't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, that's it, a thin layer in there. Um, and like I say, they can adapt. If, you know, if we've got plants to go in, then we can change it out. We've got fish to go in, then we can change it out. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's an ongoing process. Mm. It's never done, is it? No, that's it. And that's, you know, that's... <laughs> Why are you holding that? I don't... I was lining up the tanks with it. I was using it to oh. line up all the tanks. <laughs> I thought you thought you were like Gandalf of the fish room for a moment. I have been listening to the audio book of that, so maybe, maybe that's in the back of my mind. I shall not pass! <laughs> yeah. Oh, the tank's break. Let's do that again. We might be able to put a sponge in the end of the outlet. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. To just stop the... Look at them all. They look good, don't they? Look like some kind of, I don't know. What, what did you say they look like? A droid army, like from Dro Star oh, Wars. The with, I but... wonder what you meant, and I didn't hear droid. Oh, did you know? I just, <laughs> they do when they roll out on um, episode one. That's it. Yeah. There's too many Star Wars references. There is a lot of Star this, Wars. I think that's, you've put Sorry, it in our heads. <laughs> um, yeah, there's, there's that's eighteen. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. Six, 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 six. Are they going to do the job? Yeah. I'm going to do the job because yeah, they'll yeah, also yeah. we can put like um, bio media. Yeah. Just in a, in little uh, zip. No, what are they called? Bags. Mesh bags. Bags, yeah. Filter and bags. they can sit in there yeah, as well, yeah. and they'll be basically doing the same thing if you stick them near. Absolutely, yeah. There's not going to be overstock, so I think it'll be absolutely perfect for that. And we can always get a slightly bigger one for one if we need to. You know, you can get bigger versions of this. Yeah. So we could get a couple of bigger ones just in case when we get bigger ones. Easier. If we got, like, <laughs> just in case. Just in, yeah, easy. Um, yeah, so, because every now and again we want, we want to get something in that's going to go in a tank that we need, like, say, 30 of. Yeah. And then we can have one tank or two tanks that are set up to allow for that volume yeah, of fish exactly. in a smaller space. Or even a couple of power filters running, maybe, so that we can just move the little power filters around as well. That could be another option. Yeah, they don't do battery power filters, do they? That'd no, be... they do a battery powered air pump, but yeah, I don't know. It's, they're not that much more wattage, so it wouldn't be too bad. So now I have got a little portable power bank. And the amount of power used for a tiny little filter yeah. probably keep running for... To be fair, I've been thinking about um, like solar-powered ones as well, whether you could put a little solar panel, because some of the solar-powered pumps you can get like a 1,000 litres an hour. Yeah, not in here, Matt. No, not in here. But I'm thinking, look at your window. You could have the solar panel up in the window. Oh, and just leave it there sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, and it would just charge up. But anyway, that's getting off the track yeah. of what we're doing. So here we go, mano base for the shrimp tank. It says black, but there's like flecks of sort of reds and stuff in there yeah, as well. Yeah, it's like greys and... Yeah, yeah greys and more and natural reds. than just a flat black, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, much more natural. And um, the darker substrate, I always find, look a lot better with the shrimp, to be honest. You can... They colour they, they color up a little bit more, I think. Yeah, I think they or do. Or maybe you just notice the colour more. Yeah, maybe, but they do... Obviously, this stuff is highly porous as well, so it gives a good sort of surface area for the shrimps to uh, graze off of and things like that. So I think it'll be good for them. Yeah, and it's also like it's a crushed volcanic rock, I think, isn't it? Uh, yes, I think. Or yeah, I think it might be a mixture of different things. That might be where the colour comes from. Yeah, but one it, it will add beneficial bacteria colonisational area surface something. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, just that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Cool. Our first tanks getting substrate or decorative sand. This is exciting. So that's the mano base done. And then we're opting for a sort of natural, my favourite sand actually, in the uh, rest of it. The rest of them? In the rest of them? Yeah, are we going to do it in all of these? Or? Uh, yeah, I think so. Again, if, you know, if we want to change it around, it's not a hard job to drain one tank no. out and change sand around. But yeah, I think that's we'll what we... will just vacuum it out because it's, exactly. you're not only putting a thin layer, yeah? Yeah, yeah thin layer in each one. Mm, job done. Cool, chuck it in. Let me see what it looks like. Ready. It looks like sand going into a fish tank. Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah, there, there. but that's gonna look wicked on all of them. I'm loving the setting at the back as well, just casually, just rotating the lights. <laughs> yeah, it's changing awesome. through. <laughs> it's subtle, it doesn't mess with your head. Yeah, it's not the strobe effect. No. So all the tanks have now got some kind of substrate or decorative sand in. And next up, we wanna put a little bit of decoration, nothing major, but you know, a few pebbles and a little bit of scatter gravel, just to give it that more sort of natural look. So what you got there, Matt? Just some pebbles, so nothing too exciting. Take oh, let's just smash the clip of that. Yeah, I think a little pile like that in each tank, a little bit of scatter gravel around it. Yeah, yeah. not quite like that, please. Gentle next time, <laughs> gentle. I caught my finger on that, and then it's uh, all over. But yeah, I think that's it, isn't it? It doesn't need Yeah, something like that, yeah, just like that. And the thing is, again, because they're working working tanks, 
we can take them out, we can change it around, we can put more wood and if we get plecos or if we get more something, you know, shrimps, we'll put more ceramic media in there for them to graze off of. Yeah. Yeah, we can just change it up as and when we go. But at least this will give something a little bit more interesting than bear tanks. Yeah, definitely. I don't want bears in a tank. No. <laughs> We're, we're done. Well, I mean, it didn't take that much. We're not scaping them, but all the stuff is in. Well, we have scaped them. <laughs> in a sense, I yeah. guess. <laughs> now for the scary bit. So I've been, this has been playing on my mind. I was even messaging you last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. Today is the day, or tomorrow is the day, which is today. Uh, it's either going to go amazingly well or disastrous. <laughs> but this should hold. Yeah. There shouldn't be a worry, but there always is, isn't there? Oh, yeah, you, something you're up. putting a lot of weight and a lot of water on yeah, wood. something. <laughs> but even then, it's no different to putting on a cabinet, is it? It's still... True. I think this is the strongest sort of system I've seen, put it that way. Yeah. And, but it's easy to say that about the water, so <laughs> I'm, I'm rambling because I'm nervous. But <laughs> then, let's just fill it up. Oh. <laughs> That is the first row filled up. I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous the whole time, but it's good. It's absolutely solid, it's not going anywhere. You we can see on the water lines that they've not moved. Hang on, let me zoom. You could walk towards it, in fact. I could, I could walk, yeah. <laughs> Maybe a slightest hint on one side, but then that's gonna be expected, because it's smaller, sort of locking in point. Yeah. But yeah, it's perfect, yes, I'm, I'm happy now. Like, it ain't that, gonna move. It's not gonna move, is and it? And we got, should we show them our tester? Yes. So this is our tester. Is that, that just fits in snug. There's no wiggle room. And we're just checking if it's moved. It's and not that's how move. it was to start, and that's how it is now. Yeah. Which means the rest should be absolutely fine. Panic over. We're good. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, all of the tanks are full and nothing has broke <laughs> yet. What do you mean yet? <laughs> no, I think we're past the point, aren't we? I think we are. If yeah, they yeah. were going to, they would have. Yeah. Uh, everything's misty. That's not the, the water, that's just condensation because we filled it all up with cold water. So what will happen is that will just get to room temperature. The condensation will go. And then also all of the, uh, the water's untreated straight from the taps, but it's going to chlorine off, chlor gas off. Gas off, yeah? Yep. It's gonna gas off, because we're not gonna be putting anything in these for a while yet. We've actually got a trip to Amsterdam um, in between now and putting livestock in, haven't we? Yes. But we can prepare some plants to go in the mall, which is gonna help with the filtration and everything like that. So over here on the workbench, or the, the maintenance cart, whatever you wanna call it, I've got a load of pearl weed. I'm gonna make them into clumps and just put little rings around them so that they're not gonna root at all. And you can take them out whenever you want. That's gonna help the water. That's all come out of the shrimp tank. The reason I'm clearing that is because I need to select some shrimp for a project in a second. But you can see I've only just taken out that little section there. We've already got loads of it and we don't need that much. I'm just gonna keep going and then that gives us some plants from that one. We've got some really nice red fruit floaters. We can take a few from on that tank. And then you were saying the uh, better sorority, the old one. Yes. There's loads, isn't there? Yes. Yeah, lots, yes. Because this is going to be changed soon, so we want to utilise them. Uh, we've got some gorgeous looking Rotala HR there poking through. It's just like going really red at those tips as it gets closer to the light. And then I definitely think this tank here, the uh, angelfish one, needs another trim up, which means we get the Ludwig, no, the uh, Hygophila polysperma. Yes. That will sprig up quite nicely. And some of the Duigia Plustria Super Red. We've got Grandulos next to it as well. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of plants to get us going and just to yeah. give take it a nice look. Yeah, take the cuttings and see if it does well, doesn't it? I mean, it will do well, because well, there's no nutrients no in nutrients. there. No nutrients. See what happens. We'll see what happens when we come back. They yeah. could all be dead. It all could all be thriving. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Well, that took a while, but we have got a lot of plants ready. So I've been getting all of these out of all the tanks. We've got an absolute ton of all the epiphytes that are just already glued to rocks, which is perfect. Matt has cleared all of the tanks, so there's no air bubbles or anything. There's a slight haze, but uh, that's because obviously the filters aren't on at all, and you can see they're all on the slant 
There's all the uh, air bubbles in the in the sponge trying yeah, to lift it up. They're trying <laughs> trying to float to the surface. It'll be all right. So we haven't got all the pieces yet to be able to carry on with BB-8. What is BB-8 again? Fuji Mac air pump. Fuji Fuji Mac. Fuji Mac. Fuji Mac. Return of the Fuji Mac. Um, and it re we did test it out. It actually is silent, isn't it? You, yeah. That you cannot hear it working at all, but it pumps out loads, which we'll get to in a bit. Um, the parts are arriving today, but in the meantime, we can put all these plants in and get the whole rack looking awesome. There we go, how awesome does that look? Plenty of plants, we'll probably be adding more as we go along. Fully, well not fully stocked, but really stocked down the bottom. I've got like Java ferns, Anubias, more Java ferns, tons of Anubias and Bulbitis, and then Booster Phalandra, a few stems, Echinodorus over the other end. Matt is now just rigging up all the T junctions, T junctions? Yeah, T, T pieces, T, T pieces, yeah. For each pipe to come down from BB-8. It's not a fun job. Yeah, it's, not fun. it's a necessary <laughs> job though. It's going to be good when it's done. And then all we're waiting on is the taps to arrive, which should be today. And then we can get bubbling. Uh, we feel like every tank's going to need a lid. Every tank's going to need a lid. And every tank might need a little bit of water draining out of it. Oh, because of the water? Because of the agitation. We'll see though. It might be slow enough that it's all right. But I we'll... thought we were going to put some foam over the exit. Yeah, we're going to try and put some foam over the exit pipe. Just to just disperse to... the bubbles. Yeah. So they're not like bob bob, but they're more like that's it, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lid-wise, we're just going to go with the same stuff that we've got down here, the plant tanks. Um, it works really well. It's light. It's rigid. Yeah, I think that'd be fine, wouldn't it? Yeah, be perfect. There's no, and it's cheap as well. There's no point spending a load on clear perspex. It's probably just going to get covered in bubbly bits. And it, like, yeah. it, it, it more than does the job. So go with that. And that keeps the cost to about a grand for all of this. About not, a thousand pound. It's not that bad though, is it really? When you look at it. Oh, hang on, that's not including tanks because obviously Superfish provided all the tanks and the lighting. Probably the three grand? No. Two grand. Yeah, I reckon two. Two grand for that system. So obviously if you're at home, it's still going to be doable. If it's your oh, hobby, yeah, yeah. people spend like 10 grand on a motorbike. Absolutely, yeah. Some fish tanks, you know, some of the fish tanks that we've set up in the store for customers, they're easily 1,500, two grand by the time you started. And it depends what side of the fish keeping world you're on. Yeah. If you want something like this, that's like a, a breeding or like, yeah, yeah. you know, more of a sort of fish keeper's room, then this is this. If you want something that's a display in your front room, you'd spend the same money on something that's probably One, four foot. Yeah, yeah. Like an Eheim or something. Yeah, those, absolutely. They look amazing, but they are very expensive. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just depends what you want. But I reckon two and a half, two grand, three thousand dollars, I guess. I think that's a pretty good price if you had like a garage and you wanted to do something like this. Yeah. I'm not even sure this would fit in most people's garages. Maybe just. It's a double, a double garage. Yeah, a double garage across the back, it'd yeah. be right, wouldn't it? Yeah. And then you've got to worry about the heating. Oh, uh, yeah. You've got, to, you've got to redo the garage, basically. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, people you do. have to insulate it. Yeah. People do that. Well, that's so. the plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little hint there. Right, Matt has hooked everything up. As you can see, all the lines are going into each and every tank. There is currently no taps for individual tanks to control the airflow to each one, because obviously, well, theoretically anyway, there'll be more flow in the front one because it's closer to the pump and it should dissipate out. But Matt thinks there might be enough back pressure that that won't happen. Yeah, I, I don't think, I'm just guessing. I'm just hoping, I not, think not just, even guessing. It's I'm gonna just... be a laugh just to switch it on and see what happens. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, I'll just plug it in. Oh, this could go, this could go very big or not work. Uh, and it can't, I, I've, I've got to be quick as well to unplug it, so I think I'll stay up here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ready? Are right, you ready? Hit it. Okay, it's... Oh, it's not too bad. The end is definitely slower. Yeah. But... That's not... It's quite violent in... For instance, the closest ones are quite violent, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. <laughs> And the shrimps aren't getting to the far end. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have no air at the end of the shrimps. So but that means that, obviously, reducing the flow in the front ones means there's more flow that is enabled yeah. to go along, yeah? Yeah, exactly. OK, well, it's good to know it's working. Yeah. This section's really taking a hit. We might as well leave it on to clear the um, 
Thanks, didn't we? Yeah, we can leave it on, yeah. Just a bit, I don't know how, might have to take a jug of water out take of the Take a bit of water out of that ones. one, yeah. I think it overflowed a little bit because yeah. there's a bit of water now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's all right. Well, it works. Well done, Matthew. Well, it's not like it's the first time you've done this, is it? No, I've done it a few times. Yeah. That's that. It's way better than the system I created for my cubes back in my old studio, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We got a we got a fish wall. Yeah, we do. With no fish. With no fish. We do need some fish. We well, will have the fish, but also need some taps. I think we'll definitely add fish once we come back from uh, Amsterdam. Yeah. Yeah. I then think we so. can keep an eye on them for the yeah, whole week. Yeah. Then we're we're add here. Bacteria and yeah. Exactly. Yep. No, I think that sounds good. See you in a week. N not you. You're coming with me. Yeah. I mean, see the people in a week. <laughs> oh, we need some like degreaser in the middle here. We are back from Amsterdam. <laughs> Decreasing. And we're exhausted and Matt's sick and I was sick for a little bit, but I think I've had it many times. So yeah. it only lasted half a day for me. It's a, it's a new thing for me. You've, you've got children. You're used to getting the... The, the lurgies. Yeah, the lurgy and the probably COVID, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I'll be all right there. I'll be fine. Okay. So just, you'll notice that nothing is bubbling. Nothing's on. So the morning we left for Amsterdam, I came in here and half of the system wasn't working and basically one of the tubes has popped off at the top. I didn't know what to do to fix it in that time, so I just switched the whole lot off. But we've come back, and this is four, day, four or five days later. The tanks still look amazing, to be fair. Yeah, they There's, look clear, don't they? The plants will be helping, and the uh, floating plants as well, yeah. I reckon, do you? Yeah, they're doing really well, aren't they? Look at the roots on that. Whoa, all and all the way frog to the bit, bottom, this one. Yeah. So yeah. cool. The reason, we've gone for different types of floating plants in sort of each one, and that's so we can propagate them and add them to specific tanks. So for instance, an Amazon style tank, the Amazon frog bit is gonna work really well, look really authentic, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, that's it. And then yeah, you've got red rooted floater, we've got salvinia, yeah, it's gonna be cool. So to solve the problem of the popping off, we've bought some new bits and bobs. So I've got more sort of decent taps and connectors. Matt, what's that thing that you just got that's oh, gonna I've hopefully got, help? Uh, it's one of my airline units from home. So it's just a larger ribbed version. Okay. But I'm hoping because that's a bigger ball pipe, we can stick that on and it won't need the connectors that we've got. Okay. But we might not use it, we might. I'll have, I have trust in you. Let's just fix that first. Let's fix it. The mop smells bad too. Oh. <laughs> we definitely should have emptied that before we went away. Um, Matt has fixed the, the system. It wasn't too bad, was it? No, I don't know really what quite happened, but it's fixed now. Just a couple of bits popped off, but we've hopefully secured them enough. And if it happens again, we can see where the weak points are because it all happened while we weren't here. So yeah, seems to be working perfectly. Uh, also, we have cleared the Akara tank over here, ready for a whole new setup for them. We've got a ton of hardscape we're gonna go and get. Uh, they are down here, our first fish in the system. Look at there them. We go. There's the electric blues. Look, they all look so healthy and nice, don't they? Yeah, they're looking really good. There's the uh, Royal. They're a bit freaked out because like, what is this crappy little small tank you've just put us all yeah. in? <laughs> no, <laughs> they'll, they'll be all right. They were proper hiding when they first went in and now they're coming out and yeah, so, yeah they'll be fine. Um, next video, we need to go around the whole studio and restock, like stock up everything. Yeah, that is going to be fun. I can't wait to see all the different fish in there. And then that sets the sort of blueprint moving forwards for all the new scapes we've got coming and all the new tanks. And it's just going to be, oh, wow. So much st stuff to do. To do. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one. Loads more coming. Subscribe and stuff. Bye. <laughs>